Just before we take a look at the West African equities market, let's check in on how the fixed income market closed yesterday. We saw the narrow US dollar interbank rate appreciate slightly to close at 16938 cover to the greenback. On the other hand, yields inched up slightly across all tradable maturities. Now, ahead of the Treasury bills auction today, worth about 50 billion naira, set to be auctioned by the central bank. We'll get an outlook for expectations and an update for the Nigerian fixed income market with Adeto Bishulanke, she is a fixed income trader and, of course, our associated discount house. Thank you so much, Toby, for joining us. Well, let's start with the uh, Treasury's auction today, 50 billion naira. Now, that sounds kind of, you know, the volume is quite low. Could you start with why we're seeing such a low volume and what we can expect in terms of demand? Well, in times past, uh, compared to what we have seen in the calendar for this quarter, we've, always, we've, we've been seeing um, maturities of 91 days, 182 days and 364 days being auctioned. However, today's auction has just 91 and 182 days on auction. 91 days is just about 20 billion and um, 182 days is just about 30 billion, which is what makes up the 50 billion. Also, we've also been hearing the finance minister um, talking about tapering down on the volume of domestic borrowing. Now, this is a, ref a reflection of that effort by the CBN. Okay, so we're saying government trying to you know, stick to its word, saying that we, you know, we had said earlier in the year that we're going to you know, cut down on domestic borrowing because you know, we're getting to a point where uh, we're getting to unsustainable levels. Okay, fine. If we're seeing a reflection of that, how is that going to affect the banks, the banks, those who buy these treasury bills? We believe that the banks are going to get lower stop rates at the end of this auction. The reason being, um, at, in this quarter, the results, the stop rates that we have been seeing have been mainly um, the the chunk of the volume on offer have been mainly based um, have been allocated to non-competitive bidders by the CBN. Now we don't expect that banks and financial institutions that go for the auction are going to get a large chunk of the the 20, 30 billion on auction. So we don't think that the stock rates are going to be high. We don't think they're going to get a large volume of it. And so there's going to be very high demand for it today. Okay, let's talk about liquidity conditions at the interbank market. So we have the Treasury bills uh, maturing this tomorrow uh, from the open uh, OMO bills about 113 billion, PMA about uh, just over 50 billion. That's right. uh, how much of, in terms of, is that going to flood the market with liquidity? And how much, of, how much impact could we see on interbank rates, particularly call seven day money, which is still trending around 14%? Well, we're going to have a net positive liquidity position at the end of it all. We have about 110 coming in positive. And so uh, with the trends we've been seeing in recent times, we don't expect that rates are going to you know, drop significantly. Plus, we also have the FAC meeting that has been inconclusive. Now, we're not going to expect them to um, bring in the funds this week because if they haven't concluded at this point, when are the funds actually going to be allocated. So for that reason, we would say that no, the rates are not going to trend down significantly in the, in the interbank market. Okay, let's, let's, get, let's get your outlook for Treasury's auctions going forward. We know that the CBN, of course, is tightening the CRL on the banks, the public sector deposits, all meant to reduce you know, the excess liquidity that CBN says you know, that the banks uh, is happening with the banks. So going forward, we, how much of a reduction in Treasury auctions would we see or how, could, how do you think the CBN is going to structure it going forward? Well, for the next quarter, I think that the volumes are going to be around the levels that we see today. They have already reduced the volume on offer for this quarter. That might continue in the next quarter. And so for that reason, I don't expect that um, the CBN will continue to issue a large volume of um, domestic Debt. And what kind of rates do you think we'll see stop rates for this uh, T bill uh, for these T bills? You know, there was a time when when you know it was all there was a lot of so many auctions. We could, there were times where we saw rates going as high as you know, 15, 16 percent. But now, obviously, with reduction uh, in what CBN puts on the table and low, lower patronage, what kind of rates do you think we could see? We were we're, we're gonna, definitely going to see lower rates. Um, I, I project about 10 basis points from where it closed at the last auction. The auction before two weeks ago was um, also higher by about 10 basis points. And so it dropped by about 10 basis points. And now this week, we're going to be expecting it to drop by about that much. OK. OK, let's go into that, the fixed income market. We saw uh, yields uh, coming down uh, yesterday, poor demand. Uh, we're also looking at PFA selling down 
uh, at the market. Just your thoughts on that? Well, we believe that the PFAs are doing some profit taking because they have seen better yields on uh, money market instruments. Now, um, the PFAs are not exactly selling down their portfolios. They're just taking in income on the, on the fixed income instruments that are in the money. And so for that reason, you know, that's why we saw some selling down in the market this week. So in terms of your outlook for going forward, Monday, today is Wednesday, we have about, okay, today and two uh, trading days, what's your outlook for where yields could take in terms of direction? Well, with the primary market auction, stop rates being potentially low today, and uh, we also have the FAC, which might not be coming in. We have a net positive liquidity position. I would say that rates will come down before the, re before the end of the week. We also have bag-in hunters, which, who might also come into the market, and they might see our economy at the moment as a good investment opportunity. They might also buy down our yields at the present rates at which they are right now. All right, thank you so much, uh, Adetobi Sholanke, for sharing your thoughts with us. Adetobi Sholanke, fixed income trader at Associated Discount House.